Yeah, Moyo has been laid to rest in Harare. Moyo, who is also the ruling party's ZANU-PF spokesperson, led an illustrious political career as the right-hand man of two of Zimbabwe's top leaders, former President Robert Mugabe and former Vice President Joshua Nkomo. He died of cancer earlier this month. The 76-year-old was part of the talks at Lancaster House, which led to Zimbabwe's independence. In his later days, he was instrumental in setting up the Government of Unity, which saw Mugabe share power with the late Morgan Sangwarai, a cunning politician and strategist. He also played a role in the ousting of President Mugabe in 2017. He was buried at Hero's Acre. President Mnangagwa has described him as versatile and resourceful and most importantly a patriot. As the assistant to the late Dr. Joshua Komo, Comrade S.K. Moyo was part of the delegations to several high-level meetings, including the Geneva meeting, the Malta and Lancaster House conferences in 1976, 1978, and 1979, respectively. It was during the Lancaster House conference that the late Comrade S.K. Moyo, along with the late Ariston Magranyanga Chambati were the support staff to the late father Zimbabwe, Comrade Jane M. Komo, while the current ambassador to Cuba, Comrade Gina, Ignatius Muzimba, and myself provided support and advisory services to the late former president, R.J. Mugabe. It was at these meetings that we made explicit calls and demands for majority rule, self-determination and independence for the black majority from the yokes of colonial operation, uh, oppression.